Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java Enterprise Programming Tutorial Series video. Today, we will discuss, how to create and configure Java servlets using at the rate web servlet annotation. A Java servlet is a server-side program that runs on a web or application servers. It services HTTP requests and returns the results as HTTP responses. Let's move ahead to NetBeans 8 and see how to create and configure Java servlets using at the rate web servlet annotation. Friends. In order to create a servlet, let's create a web application. Right click on projects tab, and go to new project. New project dialog box gets open. In the categories list, select Java web and, select web application in the projects list. Click Next. Moving ahead. New web application dialog box gets open. Enter the name of the web application as, Application 2. Click Next. Server and Settings section of the new web application dialog box gets open. NetBeans 8 comes with a Glassfish Server 4, we will select Glassfish Server 4 as the server. You can add other servers as well. Choose Java EE 7 as Java EE version. The context path of web application is, slash application 2. Click next. Moving ahead. It asks us to select frameworks. Just click finish without selecting any frameworks. In projects tab, application 2 gets created. In order to create a Java servlet, go to application 2 root, right click new and click on servlet. New servlet dialog box gets open. Enter hello world servlet, in the class name text box. Provide a package name, here it is com.hoverspot. Click next. Configure servlet deployment section, of new servlet dialog box gets open. As, in this tutorial, we are going to configure servlet using at the rate web servlet annotation. We will not define servlet definition in web.xml and keep checkbox as unchecked. Click finish. Hello world servlet gets created in the source packages, under com.hoverspot package. It has at the rate web servlet annotation, at the class level. It registers servlet without deployment descriptor. It has two values, one is the name, which is the name of the servlet, in our case it's hello world servlet, and other is URL patterns, which is the URL pattern. It helps us to resolve URLs. In our case, it's slash hello world servlet. After host and context root of application URL, it matches it with URL pattern, and pass it to servlet class associated with it, here slash hello world servlet maps to com.hoverspot.hello world servlet. Hello world servlet has few methods generated by NetBeans. These methods are, do get, do post, get servlet info and process request which we discussed in last tutorial. We will output hello world in the h1 tag for this demonstration. Let's go ahead to hello world servlet and run it. It starts glassfish server. It builds and deploy application 2 on glassfish server. It then runs hello world servlet on web browser. If you see the URL in the browser, it helps us in understanding the flow of web application. It has a host and port at start. In our case it is local host and port is 8080, where Glassfish server is running currently. After that comes the context root of the application. In our case, slash application 2 is the context root. After context root, whatever comes, it is a URL pattern. In our case it is slash hello world servlet. At the rate web servlet annotation is processed for name and URL patterns. 
URL patterns helps request to reach Hello World servlet class. It prints Hello World on the console as expected. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to create and configure Java servlets using at the rate web servlet annotation, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.